Hi, I'm Selena Lawrence. Um, I work for the Travel Professionals and we've been established for just over 25 years now. And uh, we're based in Cobham in Surrey. We have um, a small team and with over 200 years of experience between us. Um, we're not all dinosaurs, I promise. Um, and we have our own APTA and ATAR license as well. In particular, I would say uh, luxury, the adventure and cruise and family holidays would be a particular one that sort of um, we all sort of specialise in. To use a travel agent, there's so many different reasons. Um, we obviously have um, a, a huge wealth um, of knowledge, our, our own experiences. We, we work within the team as well, so not just ourselves, but we share the knowledge within the team. Um, we've got access to so many different sort of suppliers and tour operators, and we have a great relationship with so many of the tour operators being established for such a long time that we have all the sort of best deals and the information uh, on hotels um, experiences right on our fingertips as well so um, and we often you know we can offer uh, you know added sort of benefits and, and value to your booking as well by by booking through an agent well what a year it's 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 been so far 2020 um i i do think people will be really obviously cautious once we've been given um the final sort of green light to sort of go ahead and travel um my prediction is um people will um the the uk will be very popular with families um sort of cottages and parks um and also i think people will then also want to venture further afield long haul um i think europe will sort of take a little longer to, to get back on its feet I love being a travel agent. Um, I love meeting new people, building up a rapport, getting to know people. Um, and a bit of a, a cliche thing to say, but I, I just love um, fulfilling people's dreams. And, uh, you know, holidays are not a hard sell. Everybody loves a holiday. And uh, here I am, many moons have been in travel and uh, I love it, never tire of it, learn loads from it and um, just very passionate about travel. Um, my own dream holiday would be um, an adventure uh, family holiday um, somewhere in South America. Um, I was lucky enough to do Costa Rica um, a few years ago and really um, enjoyed um, Central America and I'd love to do more of South America. I absolutely love Venice. Venice blew me away. Um, we um, went there um, last year actually for the first time on a family holiday and we arrived by train. And just the moment we stepped off the train um, into the center of Venice, it was just magical. It's just like stepping into a film set. It, it, it just, everybody has to go to Venice. Everybody needs to go there. Um, my most memorable would have to be um, my honeymoon um, 15 years ago we traveled um, around Cambodia and Thailand I absolutely loved it it was, it was amazing there's been many <laughs> I have to say um, one that would particularly stand out would be um, a client wanted a particular thickness um, um, and width on a mattress and it was a particular make as well and we managed to get there um, but it wasn't um, an easy request put it that way The moment you sort of book a holiday is always double check your expiry date on your passport, the amount of people that sort of leave it until later on and then find it sort of an issue. And for me as well, uh, mobile phones, we all sort of have our technology with us all the time now at the moment. And uh, I would say always check with your provider with any sort of deals, the amount of times I've gone there and then been stung with a massive phone bill afterwards. Um, but recently I've been sort of ahead of the game and uh, got, a, got a better deal by sort of um, speaking to them before I travelled. Wherever I go across in the world, 
Um, I'm very passionate about um, horse riding as well. It's one of my sort of big hobbies. Um, and I try to go out um, for at least sort of an hour, a couple of hours on a, on a hack out and explore the country, sort of a bit more sort of off the beaten track. And it gives you a whole different sort of, for me, a perspective um, once you're on horseback to explore the country.